Shalla from <coughs> from Auzu Billahi Min Shaitan Ar Rajeem. <coughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, all of them remainkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Kalaji Sadaifu, Miskeen Zal, Majahal, and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah, our life is to be a star. And the immense realities from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad the star maker, that our mass in this existence has to be destroyed, bashya, turned to dust. And Allah created death for that reality, The death is a great door towards an immense opening for insan, that our existence is to be an eternal light, an eternal star. And the illusion of the physical world as if this was supposed to be our destiny, this was supposed to be the end of all realities that we came and that we lived and that was it. And Allah gave to us the gift of death in which death comes to annihilate everything. And those whom understood the reality then they used that doorway to achieve their eternity. And the formation of a star and the reality of a star that Prophet described Follow my companions, any one of them are stars, stars on a dark night. Means that this world is a zulm, is an oppression and darkness. The Arabic word for darkness is zulm from zulmat, oppression. Because of the oppression of night and the mischief of night and that our reality to enter into this door of light and realities is understanding this state of death and how to bring the material existence down. And that Prophet is the star maker, that for all of creation… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Has to pass through his Divinely Reality that for them to reach the satisfaction of Allah they have to enter into the presence of the one whom shatters everything to be like a dust. Anything standing has to be brought down, anything trying to appear has to be brought down. And this is a immense reality of what we can even understand of a black hole. So when they study their sciences and they study they say, oh the black hole comes and what the word they use but it takes everything apart, make everything to go back into its elements to shatter to be qashiyah like a powder. And this is an immense reality from the presence of Prophet that to enter into that presence the one whom Muhammad, this spinning ocean of power for all existence, 
everything that manifests must return to a state of negation and nothingness. They manifest through the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah wants it to manifest, He gives it a nur and a light that is from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the one whom crushes everything to return it back into its pureness of energy is the Muhammadan reality. And this is from the studies of the levels of the heart which are the levels of a star and that the akhfa reality of Prophet that all the Prophets, all their nations and all creation must pass through this Divinely black hole in which all manifestation must cease and to enter back into the oceans of nothingness and oneness Wahid al-Qahar, the one whom comes and crushes with Sifat al-Qahar everything means from whatever manifestation crushes, crushes to its elements, into its oceans of oneness and returns it back into submission into the oceans of energy for Allah means to be now brought into the presence of La ilaha illallah but as nothing. Instead of waiting for death to understand that reality or the dunya bringing death upon this, dirt, this earth means those whom inspired within their spiritual path to understand the stations of maut qabl al-maut, that how to reach a state of death before death in which this manifestation to be brought to nothing and that the oceans of energy and qudra to dress a person, dress the servant of Allah This reality of these two triangles, one triangle is drawn up and one triangle is drawn down. The center from the chest and the two points on the chest, there's one triangle going down to beneath the belly button of insan. So from their chest to their below the belly button region is a downward triangle. And we spoke on that before but it's essential to understand the situation so that we can understand the realities of guidance through very difficult time to become illuminated which Mawlana Shaykh is Imam al-Ishraqiyoon that how to give the Ishraqiyoon whomever Allah has destined for that reality to become enlightened stars. When we see zulamat it's glad tidings for those whom are destined to be stars on a dark night in the sense that a star in the daytime is not appreciated nor is it understood. So that in every circumstance there must be a benefit and hope. If we see the zulamat falling upon the earth it's not despair but it is a glad tidings for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah complete his ni'mat and the rise of ishraqiyoon in which there are illuminated stars that occupy the earth with all their ability and all their powers and all the illuminations that Allah gives as a gift to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad This downward triangle from the right side and when we say left side for those whom drawing and taking notes 
that the left side where our emblem is the heart. So from whatever direction you're seeing it opposite through the broadcast. So from the right side is based on ignorance. The shaitan wants for this lower triangle, the right side to be ignorance within the heart where the emblem is to be anger. And then below the belly button is fire. So the whole objective of shaitan is to make mankind ignorant. So this is the foundation of his lower triangle because he has nothing to do with the upper triangles of paradise and heavens and lights and malakut. The foundation and that's why he makes a false sign. He makes a sign of an upward triangle because he's dajjal, is deceit, he has nothing from upward. He teaches people, oh make this sign as if they have something to do with the illuminations of heaven but it's fake, it's false, he actually has this. And all his people should be going like this, pointing to Jahannam. So the purpose is to, the foundation of his pyramid is ignorance. So if we are in Dajjal times, we are in immense ignorance time. They keep saying the world is flat, they keep saying they went to the moon. Then when everybody believed that they say they went to Mars, then they had bunnies with eggs, then they had Coca-Cola give us what was holy. Why? Because everything's based on ignorance. Keep them to be ignorant. When the people are ignorant, what happens in their heart? They have anger. So ignorance makes you angry. In every situation, if you're ignorant of what time it is, what era are we living in? When you turn on the news you get angry because you're ignorant. So, oh, but I don't like the injustice, no doubt. But there's no space for ignorance when you submit to Allah's will. Ignorant. They don't know what's going on. Maybe they thought this party was going to go forever. I'm sure the people who spent 200 billion dollars on a ball should be very angry. They should have prepared their nations for the events that are coming but they spent 200 billion dollars on a ball. So ignorance passes through every religion, every denomination, wealth and poor, tall and short, wide and slim. Shaitan is an equal opportunity employer. His job and his mission is to keep mankind ignorant and if they join him he promises to illuminate them. So they recruit with on campuses and organizations and politicians from families, elite families, good opportunities, good careers, they come and join us to be illuminated. And that's what we described last night. They don't have the diya and the fires of Allah which are the true flame and true lights, they are the nation of LEDs. They illuminate but they're cold to the touch, there's no fire in that, there's nothing real about that illumination. So everything is based on ignorance.
everything coming under their dominion is ignorance. So I don't understand why we have to explain each subject to people. Oh this food is like this, oh no, no, no shaykh is not like that. This medicine is like this, oh no, no, no shaykh it's not like that. The educational system is like this, oh no, no, no it's not that. Their food, their medicines, their knowledges, their technologies, everything is under the dominion of shaitan and its purpose is, because shaitan is fierce, he doesn't play. He doesn't play around with them, he doesn't put a little bit of good and then the rest is bad. It's all meant to his agenda, ignorance. What they feed is to develop ignorance. What they give of medicines is to develop ignorance. What they teach within schools is to give ignorance, why? Because that's his entire mission in which anyone who understands shaitan is very fierce in what he believes. There's nobody been able to sit and to convey and change a course. So Allah teaches, don't try to fight him, don't try to debate him, just seek refuge in me from him. He's on a mission, he's on a course, he's not going to change. Everything under his dominion, it has to be based on ignorance. What he feeds you makes you ignorant. Why all then the children are eating these foods in these regions all have ADHD, all have all sorts of psychotic and mental and, and physical issues because it's in the food, nothing's real. The food is made from cornstarch and painted and coloured different colours. It's not like an organic village somewhere on this earth you go and what you take from God's given trees and, and whatever comes from Allah is pure. None of what we eat is pure, none of it comes from Allah It's all being manufactured. For what? to make people ignorant. As a result of everything bombarding people with ignorance, his mission is then what in the hearts of the believer? Anger until kufr resides within their heart and belief has been thrown out because the opposite of belief is qadab, qadab equals kufr. Disbelief, why? Because angry makes people to do things that are ungodly. No righteousness, no correctness, no goodness. If Allah has no part in the action, who's benefiting from the action? The shaitan. So now ignorance and fire reside in the foundation of their pyramid that's upside down. The pinnacle of their pyramid is always the tip. If you fed it ignorance and you, you built within it a fire, what's the pinnacle of their existence? Anger and ignorance would be a fire. So their whole lower quadrant is fire. This triangle, each angle of the triangle is 60. 60, 60, 60. And we don't have zero, so we have a nukht, six, six, six. So, for their guidance and their book, their books warn them about 666. Only Islam can come to teach them what that means. 
They say, oh, this means this, this means Khamenei, this means this, this means this name, this means this ridiculous moronic people. This means that this pyramid and lower pyramid is based on ignorance, based on fire within your heart and anger within the heart that creates their entire wujud to be fiery, narani. And that existence closes them from the heavens. And this becomes what we see now happening upon this earth and everyone. Again Chaitanya's equal opportunity employer, he makes everybody to be ignorant. And so they don't understand the times they live in, they don't at all understand what they're seeing and as a result they all become fire, angry and fiery. And they think, some outright think that their fire is righteous fire. No, this shit I'm playing with you because you don't know the time that you're in and you don't know the will of Allah because you're not guided. Those whom are guided they're teaching you the system, it's shaitan's job to push ignorance. It's his job to make anger in the hearts of people so that there is no room for faith, it's just anger and no doubt all the reactions will be fiery. Whether they're secular, religious, whatever they think they are. They're becoming fiery and as they become fiery they're entering into the grasp of shaitan so that he can do what he wants with them and make immense fitna upon the earth. But guidance like guidance of a star comes and teaches if shaitan's going to do that to you, everyone, everyone is going to be bombarded from ignorance. So that their hearts can become angry, whether they're angry at home, whether they're angry with their government, whether they're angry with the television, whether they're angry with the heavens. Guidance then comes only through these realities of tariqah that come and build your Islam. So your secret of your triangle upwards. That Allah gave us a triangle upwards and this has to do with the reality of the soul. If you're not doing practices related to the soul with those whom have the keys of the soul, that's when we describe the lamp because how can people do soul work when they have a lamp that's not plugged in, not plugged in for themselves nor can they plug for anyone else. So they must be through connected, connected hearts in which they teach you, you have an upper triangle and this is Allah's design. This also becomes your double helix when you draw it on a piece of paper you see that this goes up then this goes down and this becomes the double helix that you can infinitely continue this. This is the design of your chromosomes from your smallest reality to your larger reality and the upper triangle in our existence to the right side is Islam and your deen, your religion. It has to be real and it has to be based on the tawheed of Allah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah no compromise, no, no lying, no, no deceit. No raising things with lies and la later we'll correct it. Everything in Allah's way is based on truth. The foundation of the soul has to be based on truth. And Islam comes as Allah's religion and it is the truth for mankind, for jinn, for all of creation. And as a result of the foundation of their triangle, then Prophet taught for them that your heart has to be with faith. So the point that comes into the heart 
has to do with faith. Your Islam and your faith will make for you maqam al-ihsan. The pinnacle of your upward triangle is the station of moral excellence. Maqam al-ihsan is moral excellence, moral excellence, not the memorizing of fiqr. Moral excellence that the akhlaq and the character of the servant shows the perfection of their Islam and the station of their iman because it's malakut now. The tariqahs hold the key to the reality of Islam, we said, why? Because 99% of the people they don't take bayat. But without the bayat there's no Islam. We gave that in other talks. How can you submit when you don't acknowledge what you owe Allah And the reality of the bayat is that I'm returning my reality, my existence back to Allah to submit and I trade from what I have of dunya for what Allah has for me in akhirah. And that by taking the hand I took the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and I completed at least the first pillar of Islam. That becomes the immensity of that reality. So the turuqs are holding the realities of Islam and only Islam can fight the downward triangle's ignorance, right? Only the light of Islam can extinguish what shaitan did of ignorance because Islam why they have a problem with Islam? Because it's the truth from the heavens. Islam comes and tells them, why you put this stuff all over your face and make yourself like painted clowns? These are all toxins and dangers. Islam comes and teaches them, pray, wash, keep clean. All of the rules that came from the heavens is to counter the deceit of shaitan. What you eat, what you drink, how you wash, how you pray according to Prophet whom is the lawgiver of the heavens, is the malik and the king. And as a result it comes with truth, no deceit, no corruption and crookedness. People don't like it, they want to do and mix the, the teachings of shaitan with everything else. And whatever Prophet brought becomes the foundation of purity and goodness. And as a result of that Islam it extinguishes and distingu- and, and annihilates the realities of ignorance that come from shaitan. So this Islam is the only thing that puts out this ignorance. And when they take the hands of the shaykh and they're in the turuqs and they're following this level of Islam, they're teaching them about the love of Prophet So why? So that now the station of iman will open within their heart. Only the love of Prophet can take out the qadab and anger of the heart. That's why other people they don't talk about that. They say, oh no we have faith, why you have faith? Oh because we fasted Ramadan. But that's not what Prophet described that you have faith, self-professed faith, who cares for that? Our faith I went so many times Hajj, congratulations. But the reality of faith and iman was to love Prophet more than we love ourselves. So this ishq, this love and this muhabbat, this good character and love enters into the heart, it's the only thing that can put the fire of shaitan down.
Now you see the foundation of the soul how powerful it's becoming. Their Islam is becoming real, their faith is becoming real and it's Muhammadiyoon. And as the, the foundation of their pyramid is strong, their soul's reality is strong, it illuminates their head because their heart is lit with fires and love of Sayyidina Muhammad Not the fire of Jahannam and the fire of shaitan that make people's faces to be dark regardless of the religion they think they profess. They're angry, when they're angry they have a darkness on their face. Because Allah describes, if you think what comes from their mouth is bad, imagine what comes from their heart. So angry people are narani, fiery shaitani people. Their Islam is not real, we're describing now the real. Islam has to be real, the faith has to be based on the love of Prophet As a result they become nurani. And this diya, the fire that Nabi Musa went into is now occupying their heart. That's why awliyaullah they resemble that verse that Allah described. Because their heart is like a burning fire, burning bush in Allah's presence. Anyone around them, anyone within their heart are blessed. And the heart that speaks to people is from Divinely Presence. So no doubt that their Islam, their Iman is strong and firm on their soul as a result through their head becomes Maqam al ihsan and this is a illuminated face that comes out like a moon because their hearts are like suns. If that reality opens the power of their soul will begin to capture their lower triangle because they start to negate the two points. Their Islam burns away ignorance and overtakes it. Their faith overtakes their anger. So then the soul goes in front and controls what shaitan is doing to the lower desire and lower triangle, their maqam al-ihsan. The perfected character they have pulls out the bad fire of bad desires of harming and hurting and doing all that's inappropriate and not allowed. As a result they are stars on a dark night. These stars through zulam, why to be angry? Only the ignorant are angry. But illuminated souls they understand from the will of Allah what's happening upon this earth. And only through zulamat will Allah open these realities. Means when dark times come those whom are destined to be illuminated this is the time of their destiny. Instead of becoming angered from the events, build your soul, build your reality, build your practices, build everything that Allah has given to us of opportunities to become guided souls, illuminated souls dressed with this immense blessing and immense powers. InshaAllah <coughs> with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad what happens? When they have three sixes and it's downward they have nothing. The one who illuminates their upper triangle has three sixes. When they're illuminated triangle controls the lower triangle they have six sixes. What's six times six Sad? Alhamdulillah that coming Monday, Tuesday Surat al-Yaseen 
because it's heart of Qur'an. Anyone wants to be from Habibullah means to take the dress of Surat al-Yaseen which is the heart of Qur'an and the name of Sayyidina Muhammad The immensity of this heart and the immensity of these lights and realities. And we pray that Allah dress us and bless us and not to be from the people of only 666 but to be granted the perfection and common in which the 36 of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress. Why? Because you'll be with whom you love. If you love the perfected one, most praised one, most beatific one, most loved one then this is the way of perfection. And that Prophet to perfect his nation, empower his nation and guide his nation through this course of immense difficulty opening upon this earth. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.